What's up YouTube, it's JB Tech Fanatic and I'm back again with another video. As always, I'd like to thank you for joining me, invite you to subscribe if you haven't, and if you like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. And if you wanna know when the latest content is available, don't forget to click the notification bell to on. We're back in the kitchen with the Samsung Flex Duo. Now this is Samsung's premium slide-in range. These tips can be used for any of the models. Now I want to make it clear this is not a review video. I covered this stove in depth. You can click on the link above if you want to see inside and out and know all the specs and details. Go ahead and check out that video. This video is designed to help answer some questions that I have found been ruining some customers' experiences with their stove. So today what we're going to start with is what do you do when the inside glass gets dirty on your oven. Now on the Flex Duo, in the very top, we kind of had this grate. Well, it goes right down into the glass. Maybe you drop some lasagna sauce, spaghetti sauce, who knows, broth of any kind. And what happens is, no matter how much you clean it on this side or even the inside, it still looks horrible. Anytime the light's on, you can see spots. Most people think it's impossible to clean as it appears to be a sealed system, but guess what? I'm gonna show you how to clean it right now. Let's do that. Top glass. So what you need to do is close your oven. You need to press this little lever here so that the top only opens. The bottom part will stay shut. You will need a Phillips head screwdriver or a drill. I prefer a drill and you will see two large um, screws that need to be taken out. Now, when I say taken out, we're not gonna drill them completely out. We're just gonna do them about halfway. What will happen is you will see the blue separate and then it will fall just like that. Very important note, this front piece is not supposed to come completely off. All you wanna do is take those two screws off and that now we can clean the inside glass, simply get whatever cleaner you'd like to use. You can clean the external appearance and the internal, both accessible right here. So we have our glass here and glass here. And so you can see, remember I said, we're not taking those screws completely out. They're not meant to come completely out. Now that it's all cleaned, again, you wanna wipe it nice and clean. You can also clean the handle where the lock lever is if you get any crust in there. You can, you know, clean it as much as you want. And then we're gonna just press it back together. It will sort of go ahead and grab your screwdriver. Now I don't want you to over torque this screw, but what you're gonna to wanna to do is press up so that it's flush. Go ahead and hold it with one hand and then you're going to tighten the screw. Do not over tighten. But as you can see, it should be flush. That way you know that it's safe. Of course, don't forget to do both sides. You wanna make sure that it's done correctly. As you can see now, it's all back together and flush. You don't want any give. So when you push, you don't want this pushing up and down at all. And it's that simple. This should only take you a couple minutes to do. Anyone can do it. As you can see, if you squeeze together, you want it to be nice and flush. And also go ahead and shut and make sure that you can open up the top portion. Another question I get asked often is, how do I clean the knobs? Now, these are, you know, this is a smart oven stove and it has those LED blue lights on the outside. So most people think there's no way to clean except kind of scrubbing. All you have to do is grip it and pull it straight out. When you pull this straight out, you're gonna to wanna to clean the inside. Do not soak this or um, submerge it into water. Take a nice soft cloth and wipe out any debris. And also make sure that you get inside the edges as that's where it kind of gets caked on and it could eventually make your knob go bad. 
But what you will notice here inside, those LED blue lights are actually attached to the stove, not to the knob. So, you know, be aware of that. I don't recommend soaking those with any kind of cleaner, probably won't hurt them. And also, these are replaceable. You can order them from any appliance parts store. When you place them back on, the only thing you wanna do is make sure that the little rivets line up with the metal and the off is always facing up. And as you can see, it's ready to go. Moving on. Another question that shows up often, where are all the features? There's a few aspects we need to look at to understand this fully. First being, if the oven is in smart mode, all of the features will be on your phone through Samsung SmartThings. Here you will have your temperature, your time, and start. But when you click on bake, you will have your oven function and then healthy cook, which gives you options like baked potato, grilled chicken, and so on and so forth. Now, these are going to be limited because I have the divider in. If you want to use the digital thermostat, you cannot have the divider in. So what we're gonna do is we're going to remove the divider and we'll see how the functions change. As you can see on the screen right now, it basically more or less has upper, lower, if we pick, we have bake, which is convection bake and regular bake, and then it lets us pick the temperature. Now we'll go with no divider and we'll see the difference. Simply open the oven, pull the divider out, and let's get into it. Now the divider is out, you see that we have many more options to choose from. We have roast and broil. If I press roast, you will also see that since we have taken out the divider, we can go up to 550 degrees. Here we have our self clean and the steam clean function as well as healthy cook. Healthy cook is on the app also, but now we have it here and you can choose by number. Number one, baked potato, two, grilled chicken, so on and so forth. Another thing I wanted to point out is smart control. If you see, we are connected to Wi-Fi here, but we actually are not connected for full control. To do that, you must press smart control. Once that's done, you will see a little mobile device icon there and you now know that you are connected. Another problem many people have had is this little icon here. If you press and hold this for three seconds, it will completely lock your stove. You will not be able to do anything on your stove if this happens. All you need to do is hold down lock again. That is a child safety lock. Next, we wanna talk about our digital thermometer. I got it here. I'll show you where to plug it. Simply plug it tight top right hand corner front of the oven. All right, so now it's plugged in. You can see this little icon here. If we click on roast, it will ask for the temperature you want the oven to be set. Then you pick the temp that you want the internal of your meat whether it be a prime rib or whatever, and it will actually shut off automatically as soon as it hits that temperature, whatever you choose. It's really cool, it works great, and I really recommend trying it out. Let's take a look at these quick features on Samsung SmartThings. As you can see, we have our range, bake, it's on standby, and I left the thermostat in. When you press standby, you are greeted with all of your options. Now, as you can see, you can still set your oven temp, your thermometer temp, and then the time. Start is here. You can set up my favorites, turn on and off smart control. But when you press bake, you will see three functions, oven, healthy cook, and auto cook. First oven will give you the ability to pick bake, convection bake, or convection roast. That's pretty standard. Healthy cook, we already looked at that. There's your options there. But one of the coolest things is auto cook. And actually this works really well. You don't have to have the thermostat plugged in. However, it does help a little bit. 
but if you're gonna cook any of these, the oven actually decides whether or not it's cooked to your liking, and to be honest with you, it does a phenomenal job. Here's a quick look at the diagram on how to use the app. It's really easy to set up. The My Favorites feature is real easy to use. Just simply press the plus, set, you know, if you're normally cooking at 400, you can set that as my favorite and you can do several of these. You also have the option to change the oven function to whatever you prefer. When you back out and you're on the home screen, you have three dots up in the top right hand corner. Here we have settings, self-check and information. Self-check is something that can really help you out. If something is not working right on this, all you have to do is it will scan. If there is, it will tell you and you can actually send someone out right from your mobile device. As you can see, everything is fine on mine. Backed out, we're gonna go back to these three dots. We're gonna go to settings. Here's where you can actually adjust the temperature, turn on 12 hour energy saving, on and off sound. A lot of people asked me if they can shut the sound off. You can do that right here and you can actually synchronize your time with your mobile device. If you want Celsius instead of Fahrenheit, you can do that here. And then of course, we've talked about that earlier, but the temp adjust, you can go negative 35 to plus 35. Another reason why I recommend using Samsung Smart Things with this device and many other devices is the Home Care Wizard. This will actually help you if you have any issues. So what this does is it actually watches your devices and make sure that they are performing at maximum ability. And if there's a problem or there is a problem that can occur, this will warn you. So as you can see, it says all devices are working well. My range is here. Got some other items. My washer probably needs to be cleaned. Um, on the range, it would give you, you know, a little bell and you would know like this. Here we go. It says that we need to actually clean, drum clean after 20 times. Now, of course, this is not my stove. I just clicked it so you can get an idea. If you had a little um, bell on your range, it would simply lay out what needs to be done. This is actually a great thing to keep everything working flawlessly. And if it's not, get it fixed right away before it's a really expensive fix. So before we wrap this up, let me answer another question that I've been asked many, many times. Can you control the burners with Samsung SmartThing? The answer is no, you cannot control them. However, the app will tell you if they're on and if they're hot. So it's not something you can shut off, but when it comes to the oven, you can turn it on when you're not home as long as you have a wireless connection. So if you're, you know, put a turkey in the oven and you didn't want to start it till later, you can actually start it from your phone, shut it off, turn it up higher, whatever you need to do, but not the burners. And I'm just going to say this, even though this is not a review video, I have put this oven and stove through the paces. My family uses this thing every single day. And I have to tell you, it is absolutely a spectacular product. I highly, highly recommend it. And again, if you wanna know all about it, check out my review video, but I will tell you, it is solid, it works great, it performs, no problems, knock on wood, and I would recommend it. That pretty much wraps up my tips for the Flex Duo or slide in range by Samsung. I want to invite you to subscribe one last time. Thank you for joining me. Remember, I do YouTube for you and you only. So if you have any questions that I can help with, reach me in the comments section. I will answer everyone that I can. Also, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at JB Tech Fanatic. I can't wait to talk to you in the comments and see you in the next video. And until then, I'm JB Tech Fanatic and I'm out. Peace.